This is the Skywatcher Tourbillon Puzzle Clock by U-Gears. If you found this video from a search, chances are that you are thinking of getting this kit yourself, or perhaps you already have it. If the former, I can highly recommend that you get it. It's a marvelous piece of engineering and not difficult to assemble. Before I get into my modification, I'll just say a few words about construction. First, even though U-Gears says that no glue is needed, I do glue the pieces together as I assemble the clock. I did this with the U-Gears Aero Clock, and it made the assembly much more stable. I apply small drops of thin CA, basically crazy glue or other brand, where the pieces snap together. Just make absolutely sure that you are carefully following the assembly instructions before committing to applying the glue. Second, I lubricate all of the gears with spray-on Teflon. Since this leaves behind a white film, I cover the flat surfaces of the gears with masking tape and only spray the gear teeth. It's a lot of work and there is a lot of overspray and waste, but it's worth it. I do use the candle wax they supply for bushings and smooth holes. Also, I lightly sand any flat surface that will slide over another flat surface. The description of this clock says you should get two to three hours of runtime with each winding of the main spring. I get over four hours of runtime, which I attribute to all of the above. Third and finally, there is a little lever that provides the impulse to move the hour drum from one hour to the next. This lever must move up and down very freely to work properly. I ended up having to add a small weight to get it to work consistently well. There is another video on YouTube showing that someone else had the same issue. The modification I made was to add automatic winding. In theory, the clock could run indefinitely. I did this using the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 Smart Brick and the medium-sized servo motor that comes with the set. I made an adapter on a 3D printer to connect the LEGO gear axle to the Skywatcher wind shaft. The EV3 is programmed to wind the clock every 90 minutes. It will continue to wind until the servo motor encounters resistance, which is almost a full winding, but no further so as not to damage the clock. After the EV3 stops the servo motor, the timer is reset to wait another 90 minutes. In this close-up, you can see at the top that the servo motor is running at 100% power. The power output is being measured every two seconds, and after each check cycle, the counter resets to zero. Once resistance is detected, which shows up as 99% power output, the servo motor stops, and now the counter will continue counting up until it reaches 90 minutes. So far, my Skywatcher has been running perfectly for a number of days without interruption, and it's keeping time very well. One last thing. I do realize that the primary purpose of this model is to demonstrate the beauty of the tourbillon movement, and that the clock is not necessarily meant to run continuously. If I find that it wears out one way or another from overuse, I'll build another and simply run it less frequently. However, my U-Gears Aero Clock runs 24-7 all year and keeps on ticking. I hope you enjoyed my little video and that it might have given you some ideas of your own. Thank you.